bullying. The Me Too the movement against sexual toxic harassment. masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? <laughs> You're a razor blade company. At the time of the making of this video, the ratio of likes to dislikes was about four to one in favor of the dislikes and climbing. Excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Oh my god, the boys are wrestling. This is all so toxic. Can anybody tell me what this has to do with razor blades? Can anybody tell me that? But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Oh wow, the Young Turks up front and center. How strange, how surprising. Is Gillette doing this because they care? Or are they going after that sweet, sweet social justice money? The Colin Kaepernick money, if you will. Need to hold other men accountable. See now here, Terry Crews is talking about being groped by another man in Hollywood. Gillette, are you saying that Hollywood and possibly homosexuality is toxic? Are you? And small. I am strong. I am strong. That's not how we treat each other, okay? So what have we learned from Gillette here? Fighting. Toxic. Hitting on girls. Toxic. Asking a girl to smile. Toxic. Barbecuing. Toxic. They also sort of infer here that men don't properly raise their daughters and don't teach them to be strong, which is kind of messed up if you think about it. I guess they're saying that inherently men are bad fathers. All men are bad. Bad men do bad thing. Bullying and harassment aren't male exclusive behaviors. Women do it too. So right off the bat, this commercial fails on the most basic level. Good point, rad dudesman, except for the fact that you're wrong and probably toxic. We need to hold each other as men accountable and definitely, definitely buy Gillette razors while we're doing it. Thank you, Gillette, for helping get Trump re-elected in 2020. There's one big glaring hypocrisy here that I'm not sure if anyone else caught, that within all these old school masculine traits or gender stereotypes or whatever toxic things they want to say that men do, there's one thing that we still need to do, and it's be clean shaven every day. You'll notice that everyone in this commercial, even the seemingly 12 year old kid, is completely clean shaven, and the only people who want you to do that these days are like bankers and the military. All right, all these male stereotypes are toxic, and we need to hold men accountable. Well, can I have a beard? Toxic! Surely, Gillette's next commercial for their Pink Razors for Women will feature a commercial of girls, you know, making fun of each other, calling them each other fat, starting rumors about each other, uh, taking pictures of their asses, uh, making fun of a guy's penis size. But, of course, they still need to shave their legs every day. Let's not go too far here. We gotta buy these razors. By the way, Nuance Bro is a great video about the so-called pink tax. You should watch it. Link in the description. Here's how I know Gillette is certifiably insane and... They don't know what they're talking about. Take a look at their last video they posted right before this one. For a man with that much armpit hair to be using gel deodorant, he would have to be insane. It stains your shirts, it goes see-through and all liquidy, and it pulls out your armpit hair. And we all know that pulling out hair is the most painful thing in the world. <laughs> So if you guys are sitting there thinking, oh my goodness, is this me? Am I toxic? Do I need to like be held accountable for some things? Is Andrew says his shirt toxic masculinity? <laughs> of course it's toxic! Don't worry though, I think they're only talking here about Gillette users and Gillette razor blades. Me, I found out, I checked, that I guess I use Schick razors. I don't really shave that often anyways, as you can tell. But if you unfortunately have a Gillette razor, I think the way to reverse the toxic masculinity is to use the razor blade backwards and shave going against the grain. I think that cancels each other, uh, both things out and you'll no longer be toxic. Trust me on that one. So unfortunately, I think we've come to the point in the story where Gillette has to be pigeonholed into being something, you know, I don't like applying labels to people, but there's only one thing left we can call people who like Gillette now.